So this is Lou Martin. Yeah, and I'm with uh, a dear old friend of mine uh, who I haven't uh, chatted with uh, uh, for, for quite a while. And we caught up earlier today and we were having such fun. And uh, we both thought we were making good sense of the wild times we're all moving through. So we thought we'd uh, record it and uh, share it with people. And uh, if, we, if we keep our nerve up after we finish this thing and we agree to do it, then you'll all, you'll all be seeing this. So here... Here is my dear friend, Annabelle, Annabelle Kohlmeyer. How are you, my friend? I'm fine. I'm getting better again after lockdown and just trying to process all the energies and everything that has been happening in the world. Sure, sure. So uh, you, you're still living in Munich? Um, yeah, but I'm also I'm looking actually for a place. You know, Munich is my home base, but I'm just... Like I said um, already in an interview before, um, to have like this connection, you know, um, in nature with people would be nice. I think more and more people are doing this now, buying a tiny house or living um, on a farm with permaculture and these kind of things. Yes, Between yes. With animals, maybe. Beautiful, beautiful. Well, we'll keep that in our thoughts and prayers. Uh, that, sounds, that sounds great. Honestly, I've just been looking online at uh, all these tiny house uh, projects that people have been building out of like yeah. storage containers and buses and trains and and all sorts of um, amazing ways that people are are building uh, little homes that they you know on a piece of property that they own and uh, you know living a very um, uh, environmental uh, you know conscious uh, much more nature centered life so uh, yes I'm, I'm, I'm thinking I'm thinking about that as well um, so, you know, we were talking about um, our own spiritual journeys and, uh, you know, um, you were asking me some great questions, which, which you, you always do because you've got great questions because you're a deep soul and uh, you've been on the path. You're welcome for a long time. Do you want to give people a little history of your own spiritual journey? Because it's, it's quite a story. Um, yes, I'm actually writing a book about it at the moment. And um, Great. Great. it's going to be called something like um, on the way um, of looking for love, I found the guru or the teacher of my own heart, you know, to listen to your own intuition and your heart. Beautiful. Great title. Um, love it. Because what I found out that um, in life, we're often getting so confused, you know, um, whether it is about love or about what we are supposed to be he to do here in the world. And there are coming so many influences from different people saying that uh, religion and whatever it is, you know, there are so many concepts and it's like you, you could move to that country, you could do that, you could wear that color, you could, there are so many options in life. It's like a adventurous roller coaster in a way. Yes. But we need to center ourselves, um, I think, continuously, you know, and um, yeah. just found, find out our own path. Yes, yes. And both of and, us were... Um, yeah, go on, go ahead. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Oh, well, I was just going to say, I was just going to take a, take a left turn that both of us were talking about uh, living after the ending of, uh, you know, some, some uh, relationships, some hopeful romantic relationships each of us were involved in that have come to an end. And, uh, you know, the last few months and, uh, you know, that there are many. Uh, so I was just really acknowledging, Annabelle, you know, you're the, the depth of your own journey. And uh, I'm excited to, to hear about your book and to read your book, uh, you know, because this is where we all have to look really is in our own hearts deeply, deeply, deeply every day uh, to yes. find, you know, to find that clarity and wisdom and uh, to, to begin to live from the outside in rather than just the from the inside out. I mean, rather than the outside in, you know, to, to generate more of what we want rather than be seeking and striving in the outer world. And that's also what I feel like when I met you, you know, you um, really brought that clarity into myself because, um, yeah, because of your own journey, you know, you've been going through so much, but I felt like you were always connected and you always said like, okay, I can take it, you know, there's coming another challenge, but I'm staying in my heart and I'm accepting it, but I'm also not um, letting myself put me down you know and spread my wings yeah like you're showing right now <laughs> and, um, <laughs> and I, I find that so cool you know not everybody has a strength you know like sometimes they're coming so many waves and it's like okay 
<laughs> I'm sure. still hanging in there. But what's coming next? It's like ch -ch -ch too much. But um, just centering ourselves, you know, and um, trying yes. to also find our voice and not, um, I think that's very important at the moment, like we were discussing. Yes, um, yes. Very much. In time, yes. to speak out and to value ourselves and our worth and um, yeah, 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 yeah. No, yeah, I love what you're saying, hun, and thank you for all those kind words. I'm, you know, it ta like attracts like, as we know, my dear lady, and uh, you know, it's. Uh, I mean, the strength that we all, uh, you know, ultimately have to learn to lean on in impossible situations is our faith whatever word we choose to use and however we choose to practice it. And, and you've had many years of study and practice and I've had my years of study and practice as well. And, um, you know, it's, um, this is, this, you know, this is the spiritual awakening of our lifetime, uh, what's happening in the world right now. And, you know, our, our um, experience, our experience, strength and hope, as they say in 12 steps, that's what we're able to draw on and then like we we're also saying, it, it's so important that we, that we know and honor and speak the truth as we understand it and that we be with people that we trust and respect and feel safe with and that we, uh, you know, you and I are, uh, we've got many other conscious friends in our lives, thank God. And uh, we're, you know, we've been reaching out for years, uh, our buddy Martin there and, uh, you know, many, many others, uh, you know. Uh, uh, also, uh, also Martin Vesey, I, I saw the two of your friends. Uh, I know him from Ireland. He's in uh, Budapest, I think. He's in Hungary. Um, okay. Yeah, yeah. He's on your face. He's on your friends page. I know how that goes. Uh, you know, uh, but uh, he's a he's a bright light. And um, yeah, we're really kind of, aren't we? As you and I are coming together to to try to help each other and. Uh, you know, navigate these, uh, these very challenging times and help other people uh, begin to have that faith to look inside themselves, yeah? Yes, definitely. And I always felt like, you know, um, there is this higher source, which is only love, you know, this is where we are coming from, this is where we're going back. And everything that is between that, you know, it's just like... A journey you know it's like this emotion the space of the emotions and they they will pass away also you know it's yeah. like they are it's like they're coming and we um you know what was for me a very spiritual experience was actually to go um try to go surfing i was not the best surfer but it was like um it showed me about life you know it taught me about life um that you can really um there comes a wave and you choose whether you take that wave or whether you wait Right. And um, it's really that balance, the dancing of life, you know, you can yes. go slowly, you can go um, in within yourself, you cannot talk um, for months, you know, you can just introvert yourself, but it's actually, um, sometimes I feel better, you know, also to talk to my friends about it, because it's like a mirror. Sure. And um, when you are sharing your story, I'm sharing my story, we can hear that part within yes. us. Yes. And it's important, I think, you know, especially now because so many people have been isolated and um, it's, it's um, you know, there's this connection, this deep connection. We need to strengthen that again. Yeah, yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, well, wherever we are at the moment in the world. Yes. And um, even if it's just like that, you know, like we cannot um, hang out in real life, for example, but we can have that connection from heart to heart by talking and going deep within ourselves within our emotions and i'm so grateful um, to have met you you know because you know me quite well and um i've been um, always sharing my emotions and sometimes i was like <laughs> yes uh, or is it too much because um i think many women have that problem you know we um can be very intense but men also, you know, and um, it's like to, to find that um, balance. We have both inside of us. We are both um, female and male in a way. Yes. But we need to constantly um, be, you know, centering yeah. ourselves. And like you said to me, um, it's okay if you are angry yeah. to accept anger and to yeah. accept fear and to accept um, grief. Yes, you I don't know. have to push these emotions away. You can yeah. go through them. Yeah. 
and learn with them. Yes, yes, they're there for a, a good reason, you know. And uh, um, yeah, no, that's beautifully said. I mean, I, you know, um, it's when we, it's what we resist, you know, persists, and what we deny uh, controls us. And uh, these kinds of these kinds of paradoxes, and it's always the stance between the masculine will of the mind and uh, the feminine wisdom and love of the heart. And you know, am I, am I in balance or am I out of balance? And the quote from my guides that I've said many times is, "We we all go to extremes to find balance." And of course, uh, a planetary healing crisis, which is what I call this time, uh, you know is everyone on the planet going, ah, you know, I thought, I, I thought it was one way and now it's, it's, it's not that way any longer. And what the hell, you know, I didn't sign up for this, did I? Yeah. No, we all didn't sign up for it. But um, yeah, like you said, it's like a mind control thing in a way also, and um, yep. it's just not okay. And yep. yeah, what can we do about it? That's well, the yes, yes, darling. I, I welcome your, your feedback and your perspective on all this uh, very deeply. Um, uh, you know, um, I mean, like we're saying, um, sorry, um, we have the ability to find the truth inside of us. Yeah, it's, my internet's going to be unstable until the phone, the phone rings off here in a second. Oh, okay, somebody's calling you. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> nice music. There we go. Okay. Yes, exactly. Okay. Lovely tune. So, I mean, like we're talking about emotional healing, Annabelle. So that is, you know, making this journey from our beliefs through our understanding and back into our, our knowing. And then we, when we touch that knowing, however we do that, grief, anger, sorrow, whatever's there, hope, joy, whatever's there, then we come back into our mind and we're, we're reconnected to, to the depth of ourselves. The way my guides teach me is the truth is what is the core of each of us. And if we live from that core, if we live from our deepest truth, then we're trustworthy and we're, we're able to trust ourselves. But if we talk ourselves into things or out of things, then we're not so clear and it's not so trustworthy. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And also power, you know, what I found is really taking our power back. Yes. Because we are also somebody, you know, it's not like yes. um, we can allow everything in our life. Like I sometimes felt like, okay, um, I can choose this experience and that, but it didn't make me happy because maybe I didn't listen to my heart and I was like, sure. okay. I'm just um, devoting myself to this experience or whatever it is. Yeah. But we need to step back for a moment and look at it and um, listen and ask ourselves, do we really want to experience this now? Yes. Are we really happy in this moment and in this situation? Yeah, that's and right. not honey. just um, don't do it, you know, right. anymore. Right. And um, right. I often felt like I um, need to make a sacrifice or something and um, with my own emotions, whether it was an maybe a relationship or a friendship, um, whatever it was. And then I was like, no, I'm also strong on my own. And um, yeah, yeah. We, but we, we need to find that balance, you know, because often we also think only about the negative experiences we had with people, but we also had positive ones. And that's also ex important to acknowledge. Sure, sure. Just to treasure the moment and, um, but also be clear yeah. with yourself. Yes, dear. Yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, honestly, hon, I say again, you're, you're someone who's made this inner journey. You know, you, you have really searched your soul. You know, you have, mm -hmm. you have deeply healed that, uh, you know, let go of all the confusion and the fear and the self-doubt and self-judgment and, uh, you know, that everyone has, uh, you know, until you go, wow, I want to stop doing this to myself. And this seems to be the only way to do that. So, you know, screw it. I'm going to do this. I'm going to feel this. I'm going to say this. I'm going to uh, trust this, uh, whatever that deeper guidance is. And then you do start to come into this wisdom like you're, you're sharing so 
so beautifully here, my friend, which is, you know, really, you're welcome, really honoring yourself, really respecting yourself, really trusting yourself and, and valuing yourself, you see, you know, and um, this is especially important for, for women, uh, as we were talking about in terms of women feeling that they have a voice and that they will be respected and that they will be heard and uh, that what they have to say matters, you know. That's that's such a huge that's part true. of the awakening in the world, isn't it? I feel like generally, you know, um, what you said before was beautiful, um, that women need to be protected and um, but men as well. But there are so many concepts about men and women, you know, like how should we behave and role models also, but also in religions. There are so because I've been looking at many religious paths, how are women being treated as well? and um, I found out, okay, there are many disbalances, so yes. to say. It's yes. Nothing is fully bad and nothing is fully okay, but they are, just call it disbalance. Yes. And um, it's because of fear also, you know, like sure. women have that role, actually, you have to be a mother, you have to be um, married, maybe you have to have that certain path, maybe also be a housewife, but that's okay if you want to be that. But right. there are so many different paths. But That's men right. also has these concepts, you know, you gotta be strong, you gotta be this, you gotta be a warrior or whatever it is, you cannot cry. And um, you always said it's so beautiful that men need to learn to accept um, their grief and women need to learn to accept anger and also step out. And I think what's been happening now with Corona as well, and you know, like with the lockdown, uh, maybe many women have been in a relationship at home, maybe they experienced even abusive things with their partner because so many emotions came up. And um, it's so important not to allow it. And um, this is also teaching us, you know, show who you really are. Yeah. Put down your mask for some time yeah. and step out and listen to your heart and find your voice. Find yes. back to who yeah. you are. Be strong. Even yeah. if it's scary, because it can be scary, you know, to, um, to say, okay, I don't like it. It's not okay. Yeah. I'm going now. And yeah. you don't know where to yeah. go. Sure. It's very scary. But... Um, if you tell your story and you're fully honest about it and fully truthful to yourself without too much um, resentment and anger, you can just share it with the world and um, yeah. you, you will be supported in a way. Sure. Help sure. with coming your way, I guess. That's right. Well, that's right. Absolutely. I mean, I believe God supports our truth, you know, and our ability yes. to, to honor the truth. Uh, one of, that was beautifully said, um, really beautifully said. Um, you know, one of, the, one of the quotes for me recently on Facebook that I posted was, um, a lie is still a lie even if everyone believes it, and the truth is still the truth even if no one believes it. And I thought, that is brilliant. That is right. You know, and like we're saying, uh, you must find your truth, I must find my truth, where they come together and agree with each other, that's wonderful, and that's, that's a very sacred, beautiful thing, and that's love and friendship and partnership and, and all the possibilities of, of life that we, we both, you know, want to create in our lives. And then where we don't necessarily line up, you know, as you said, uh, you know, shoulds and fears and judgments and rules and control and you can't this and you're not supposed to that, and you're not allowed the other, you know, all that is just uh, kind of crazy you know, uh, on, on one level, whereas, uh, you know, uh, when we do listen to trust and follow our, our loving inner guidance, if we can remember that we are and feel the truth that we are safe, loved and supported, like we were saying earlier, uh, mm -hmm. you know, then boom, you do get your power back. You do make healthy decisions. You do treat others the way you want to be treated, you know, all of that. Uh, and things work a lot better. Yeah. You know? Absolutely. I fully agree with everything. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, and as I said with you earlier, you know, um, I, I think it really is the role of conscious men to encourage women to have a voice, even if it's things we don't always want to hear and uh, don't necessarily agree with, you know, whatever, uh, you know, women absolutely need to be supported to speak their truth you know, whatever, whatever that is. And when men have 
dominated women into being afraid of speaking their truth, the whole world suffers, including the men. So it's kind of self-destructive and crazy the way it is. Absolutely, totally. It's really like that. And um, so, for example, um, in my book, I'm also writing about it, you know, that um, when I was 20, I moved into an ashram and um, everything was okay. But I also noticed some things that were not so okay. But um, then people maybe tell you, okay, but then you don't fit in here if you don't like that way, you know, and you gotta make a choice in a way, but you also feel like you found your spiritual family. And then um, somebody tells you, okay, you gotta go out, you gotta leave, you need to work, um, work and earn money. And you are so confused and you are feeling like this lost child in the world, you know, what, what am I going to do now? I wanted to stay here forever. And um, that can be quite harmful as well. But in, the, in another way, there's also a positive side about it because you are in a way more free but you need to learn again to use your own mind you know and to really say okay what is good for me and what isn't and um, there can be so much confusion sure but that's also part of the path the sure. path of life yeah yeah bless you yeah that's that's just, right um I'm just writing about how we are looking for love in so many places you know in partnerships or in um maybe religious organizations and we need to heal you know that um feeling of being empty without constant continuously feeling love but because it's a beautiful feeling to be in love but then when it's gone we are getting depressed again right but right it's, it's just like it's a state that we can choose to be in you know we can continuously choose to be happy or to be sad and choose to be empty or choose to feel complete even right. within ourselves when you're walking the path alone that's right honey that's right uh you're saying it's you're saying it very well my friend i mean we can we can love ourselves even if we're not in a loving relationship with with a partner you know uh, they're not mutually exclusive uh you know uh both can be quite possible and you know as we were saying the more we do learn through our experiences of relationship and we do see our themes and our, our strong places and our weak places and where we're uh, clear and where we're frightened or confused or wounded, you know, and we bring more compassion to those parts of ourself and we bring more love and understanding, then, you know, those uh, parts do absolutely heal. And then we actually have more depth and more authenticity and more intimacy and vulnerability to share with our partner when we are able to to start a relationship again yeah yes mm -hmm. yes totally mm -hmm. and to heal ourselves like you said also before we mm -hmm. starting a new thing and mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we tend to hold each other hostage is the is the big you know is the big problem in uh, in our codependent fear fear-based yes. uh world and um you know, uh, there is no running from who we are, you know, and there's no escaping ourselves. So the sooner that we make peace with that, that we do deserve our own love and acceptance and respect. And, um, you know, as you said, you know, to be receptive to our inner guidance and to be, uh, you know, available for it and um, trusting of it and, uh, you know, open to it that that's again that's real humility and real power and uh that's those are the people that inspire me the people that i see that live that way yes totally those who are both um the teacher and the student at the same time you know yeah. you cannot just um preach to people also you have to um look at yourself and um see what maybe you have done wrong and then apologize and i always feel like when you truly apologize from your heart there is like so much relief and it's like your heart is blossoming again and if you have something to say to somebody you can say it but then also say okay maybe i should have used more loving words and i'm not have been so angry you know and sure sure it's important. yeah that's beautiful i mean so much of our of our struggles in relationship uh, is the reflection of our of our struggles in ourself that we're in some level of denying about, you know, some yeah. level of denial. Uh, and, uh, you know, when you ha don't have that person 
to uh, distract you any longer. And you go, well, okay, I guess this is completely my thing here, you know? Um, mm -hmm. And let me forgive myself for, for my stuff. And, uh, you know, um, forgiveness, it, it, honestly, I had a fantastic conversation with another friend here uh, a couple days ago. And uh, this is another old friend. And uh, she had just a huge breakthrough around forgiveness, forgiving herself. She, she's not real comfortable with the word or the concept. Uh, but I got to, um, you know, what I want to say is, uh, you know, in, in the work that I get to do with people, you know, mm -hmm. uh, counseling and channeling and whatnot. So there are like, there's acceptance, there's compassion, and there's forgiveness. And basically, I, I see that over and over again, that if I can help myself or someone else understand that there's a reason for this. We may not know what that reason is, but trust and accept that there is a reason for this. This, there, this is happening for a purpose, this pain that you're going through in this, in this moment, whatever. Okay, mm -hmm. make your peace with that, that I take some form of responsibility and, not choose, and choose not to stay the victim of it, but say, wh wh whatever this is happening, I've invited it or allowed it into my life. I have a part to play in this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I have compassion for myself and the other person that we've done the best we know how to do, whatever the situation was, even if it was truly awful, you know? Yes. Okay. And then the forgiveness part is where everyone thinks it's about forgiving others, but it, it really isn't. It's always about forgiving ourselves. That's where people tend to be the hardest in their hearts. Yeah. So. That's so. totally true as well, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, so you always say it so beautifully, you know, you always bring people, I think, back into this power. At least for me, it's like um, we had so many um, conversations before, you know, when I felt yeah. really insecure and um, confused about certain things. And sure, honey, um, sure. it's that deeper truth, you know, it's, mm -hmm. it's beautiful because life is giving us exactly that, what we need right in this moment. And um, well, that's a powerful statement. That's a huge, powerful statement of faith. That's, that's a very important thing that you're saying. Yes, I mean, it, it seems self-evident now, but there are a lot of people who would disagree with that at, at their own suffering, of course, because all of us, the sooner we understand that, the simpler life gets. Yeah, sometimes we think, I think, uh, we are not ready for it, you know? Um, right. Like, who was ready for this outbreak? I think sure. nobody expected right. that. And then it's like, is life mm -hmm. really giving us that? Do we really need that right now? <laughs> Don't think so. But um, somebody said um, that I was listening to that it also brings us closer, you know, like maybe to our community, or, um, wherever we are. And there's always something to learn even sure. beyond it even beyond these negative um, aspects and sure there have been many people um, you know but that's also there were so many um, there were fights you know the controversy some people wanted to have the mask some people didn't want to yeah. but it also brings you again um, closer within yourself and you learn about what do you um, on which side are you you know but you can also be on both sides in a way and it's like sure. um, you, yes. you always need to discriminate. That's sometimes so difficult, I think, you know. Of course. There's good and there's bad, but there, there are always two um, sides of the coin. Sure, hun. sure. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you're saying it well. I mean, I love the, the, the you know, um, discernment and discrimination, you know, mm -hmm. uh, uh, help us to make determinations is the way I remember that. And, and so, like we're saying, if, we, if we're just thinking with our head or our ego or the world, then that's one level of information. But if we're taking all of that into prayer and meditation and, you know, sitting with it and working through it and feeling things and letting the feelings come up, like we're saying, trusting, having faith, looking for the truth. I don't know what the answer to this is, but I believe there is an answer to this and I'm going to sit in the vibration of the faith and the knowing that the answer is coming in the perfect time in the perfect way that's you know a, a, a way to to work with anything uh and um you know as you said uh there is a reason for what's happening that's absolutely brilliant 
You know, that's a high level of spiritual wisdom. I, I promise you, you know, uh, it may seem self-evident now, but it's a high level of, uh, of understanding because it is saying there's a purpose to everything. Nothing is meaningless. Everything has a, has a point and a purpose. Our work is to, to feel our way into finding what that is for us, you know, and the people that we love and care about. So, you know, it, to my, what's come to me is about all this is if, if as I learn to not lie to myself, as I have learned, in, in, you know, over time, then I learn how other people lie to themselves or how we lie to each other. And I can see that and feel that uh, more distinctly. And not that I don't ever lie to myself or lie to anyone else. I can't say that, honestly. But I can say, in hindsight, I see when I do it and I see why I do it, you know, and I have that compassion and forgiveness and willingness to be responsible for it and make amends and, and clean it up. Um, mm -hmm. so, so when people are, when we're being sold these big lies, you know, that we've been talking about just in general terms, it's, um, it's pretty um, powerful because, you know, a a as many people don't feel that the official version of the story is logical or makes sense, uh, you know, it puts us in a very interesting position of knowing something that most other people are not consciously aware of yet and, um, mm. or believing something maybe is a better way to say it. Uh, and, um, uh, you know, looking for how to share this with others, you know, um, so that if we can help other people wake up, that's, that's a good thing. But, but again, it's all of it is totally subjective. My guides have said, this is the most subjective time in your life because of what we're talking about, because, uh, there's a lot of pressure and fear, uh, in the world right now. And everyone's got their own little, you know, belief system and how we stay safe and how we take care of ourselves and our loved ones. And, uh, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's hard to let, uh, to help people to let that go. It's hard for us to let it go, uh, and believe that there's, um, something better on the other side of this, you know? Yeah, and it has a lot to do with vulnerable, um, with being vulnerable. You know, like um, yeah. you are in the state, and um, they are like you really. Um, they show you how much power they have. You know how much power the government had that they don't really care about you. Um, whether you want to see, for example, your grandmother in the hospital or somebody, you know, and they are like, and they are putting up all these restrictions, and it's all against love. You know. And um, it's, it's making you so angry inside and you're like, do I, where are my rights? You know, do I have any rights here? Can I speak out or, or what's happening? Do I have any identity that I can really say, okay, I, I'm not okay with that. I'm not fine sure. with that. Sure. Well, and, yeah, I, um, that's the heart of the matter, hun. Yeah, I think you're really, yeah. you really nailed it. You know, do, uh, do, do my rights... A matter or or have I given them away or is someone is someone taking them from me without my conscious uh, permission and acknowledgement you know we all know the the metaphor here that there the analogy about uh, the frogs in the boiling pot of water and uh, how you know they put the frogs in when the, the, the water is nice and cool and they're mm -hmm. swimming around in the water and then they you know heat it a little bit and they're still having to find time then they heat a little bit more and it's a little warmer and you know, eventually the frogs are cooked, and it's and they, they yeah yeah they. Whereas if you drop them into the boiling water, they would have jumped right out, you know. So yeah. it's it is kind of sort of yeah it's a, it's a, it's a very sad analogy I'm afraid, but it's it's kind of uh, uh, it's kind of appropriate because um, it's like death by a thousand cuts, you know. Uh, so you know, at some point everyone's uh, bullshit detector, as Ernest Hemingway used to call it, bullet shockproof mm -hmm. bullshit detector, you know, the red lights start flashing and you're going, this yeah. does not make sense. <laughs> this exactly. is not real. Exactly. So a lot and we are not five years old anymore. Right, you know, right, to some right. Fairy tales. <laughs> right, right. We're not uh, yeah. Linus with our, sucking our thumb with our blanket. Uh, we're and I feel sorry, you know, like saying five years old also for the children, you know, like this is, and they are coming from the pure source and uh, having to deal with all of that. But 
it's um i think difficult to grow up in a time like that i can only imagine yeah i truly honestly i can only imagine and like we're saying hun uh those of us that are not five years old are being deeply challenged to make sense of a very um daunting uh picture of reality uh while the <laughs> the flame is getting hotter and hotter you know uh but i do really have great faith that we will get through all of this i really absolutely do there's no doubt about that um in the in the long run in the big picture you know because uh, again hun, you know uh, crisis demands resolution and whenever people are up against impossible situations that's when our faith is tested and that's often where people start finding their faith you know when there there are no other resources there is no other answer you know excuse me so there's millions of people around the planet billions of people around the planet are praying more are asking uh, god to reveal his presence her presence their will in our lives their mm -hmm. loving guidance uh you know and uh, it is it's a whole new ball game this last six months since this decade began yeah to really put your face on a rock you know and just say okay everything is going to be okay whatever yes. it is but yes and um yeah to humble yourself to also ask for support but also support others if you can somehow and, sure um, sure to care for each other yes 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 well and you and i are going to explore new ways of doing that together which i'm excited about Yes, me too. And I can only um, really highly recommend, you know, to everybody who has a wound in their heart or who is going through a challenge to connect with you, because um, it's like you're becoming joyful again and you're, you have, you get that feeling, I'm okay, you know, I'm not crazy, I'm not um, a bad person or a sinner or whatever dogmatic thing you can get um, on sure. your heart, you know, like for feeling this or for speaking out, I am okay just the way I am right now. I'm yeah. just trying my best like everybody is doing here. Yeah, yeah. beautiful. And just beautiful. to accept yourself because we often feel so guilty, you know, and for um like the worst person in the world or whatever it is you know for certain things and sure. we're just trying our best yes yes well darlin i just love you uh, i i'm so proud of you thank you sweetheart I, i'm so glad that we're going to explore new ways to uh, to help each other and um i look forward to your book and uh maybe with your permission we'll, we'll leave it there do you want to uh send anyone anywhere to look at anything before we uh finish up at the moment um there's it's not finished yet but okay. um i would like to send people um like to send people to your place and maybe to your facebook page great just to connect with you and um if you have trauma to heal or if you have fear to heal and other emotions like that i think your place is the best place to go <laughs> thank Honestly, you into um also join the meetings to listen to you know what you can say and thank you aligning your soul thank you healing thank you well you're one of my star pupils so i'm just uh, so grateful to you and proud of you and you've come a huge long way and i'm i'm really really glad that we're thank reconnecting and, and being friends again and thank you thank you okay. all right sweetie yeah love you too okay, we'll leave it there for the moment you. okay yes. Thank Have you. a nice day and talk you to too. you soon. Exactly. I love you. <laughs> love you too, Dawn. Thanks again. Peace and blessings.